हे डेव्हलपर्स वेलकम बॅक टू दिफ्टी प्रोजेक्ट इन फिफ्टी डेज विथ दी फ्रंट इंजिनियर्स इन दिस एक्सायटिंग एपिसोड वी आर डायव्हिंग इन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ वेब डेव्हलपमेंट वेअर वी विल बी क्रिएटिंग अ स्टनिंग रिस्पॉन्सिव्ह अनिमेटेड लॉग इन फॉर्म युजिंग एस टी एम एस सी एस एस अँड जावा स्क्रिप्ट गेट रेडी टू टेक युअर लॉग इन फॉर्म टू दी नेक्स्ट लेवल सो डेव्हलपर आय एम थ्रील टू हॅव यू जॉईन मी टुडे ॲज वी एम्बार्क ऑन अनदर इन्क्रेडिबल प्रोजेक्ट अवर गोल इज टू क्रिएट अ लॉग इन फॉर्म दॅट नॉट ओनली लुक्स व्हिज्युअली अपिलिंग बट ऑल्सो डिलिव्हर्स अ सिमलेस एक्सपिरियन्स as we can see that our project is a mobile friendly also we have used the media queries to make them responsive so guys let's get started guys let's get started as always we will begin by setting up our html structure for our login form we will create the necessary input fields buttons and placeholder to capture our user information so let's get started with our html code so guys we have just created our html file let's get understand what we have written so this is the doc type as you all know we have given the doc type to let understand browser that we are using the html5 version this is the html tag and we are giving the language english here this is our head tag in the head tag we are using the script the link the link is our style.css external file this is our title tag which is show on the tab of our browser and this is the meta tag which is used for the responsiveness of our application this is a meta care set this is our body tag and in our body tag we are using a multiple tags that we render on our browser so this is the image we are giving a class view and the source is view so you you have to include the image you can get the image of your own from the internet or you can go to my github profile to get these images so these are all the tags and we have given the file script.js link here so these are the our html file so guys let's get understand some optimization techniques we are use in our html file so first optimization technique is we have added a alt attribute to the image element for accessibility so these are the alt attribute and the alt attribute provides alternative text that is displayed when an image falls to the load or for the users who rely on the screen readers it improves accessibility by ensuring that users will visuals impairments or disabilities can understand the content conveyed by the images so that is why we are using that the another thing is the we are placing the script reference in the head section ensure that the necessary resources are loaded before the page content is rendered that is why we have given the script tag in the head tag so also we have added the cross origin also so why we are adding that adding the cross origin attribute allows the font file to be requested from a different domain while still enforcing cores so that is a 
क्रॉस ओरिजिन रिसोर्स शेयरिंग पॉलिसीज एंश्योरिंग प्रॉपर लोडिंग एंड यूसेज ऑफ ए फंड आईकॉन्स एडेड डी प्लेस होल्डर एट्रीब्यूट टू दी इनपुट फील्ड टू प्रोवाइड यूजर गाइडेंस अनदर वन इज वी हैव एडेड डी रिक्वायर्ड एट्रीब्यूट टू इनपुट फील्ड टू एनफोर दी फॉर्म वैलिडेशन इफ वी सी अवर इनपुट टाइप सो वी हैव गिवन दी रिक्वायर्ड एट्रीब्यूट सो दीज आर दी डिफॉल्ट वैलिडेशन रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर दी अवर एस टी एम एल वी मस्ट यूज दिस रिक्वायर्ड एट्रीब्यूट वाइल यूजिंग दी फॉर्म सो एल्सो वी हैव गिवन दी डिफर एट्रीब्यूट सो वी हैव गिवन हियर दी डिफर एट्रीब्यूट टू अवर स्क्रिप्ट सो वाई वी गिव दिस डिफर एट्रीब्यूट सो इट अलाउज द ब्राउजर टू कंटिन्यू पार्सिंग एंड रेंडरिंग दी पेज विदाउट ब्लॉकिंग रिजल्टिंग इन दी फास्टर पेज लोड टाइम्स एंड बेटर ओवरऑल परफॉर्मस बाय मेकिंग दीज चेंजेस द ऑप्टिमाइज वर्जन ऑफ द कोड इम्प्रूव एक्सेसिबिलिटी एनहांस एज यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड एंश्योर दी फॉर्म वैलिडेशन एंड ऑप्टिमाइजेस पेज लोड परफॉर्मस सो दैट इज वाई वी हैव यूज दिस ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक इन अवर एस टी एम एल फाइल सो गाइज लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद अवर सी एस एस सो गाइज विदाउट सी एस एस दिस इज अवर ब्राउजर दिस इज अवर प्रोजेक्ट लुक्स ऑन दी अवर ब्राउजर सो यू कैन सी सी दैट इट्स लुकिंग वेरी वियर्ड सो नाउ दैट अवर एस टी एम एल स्ट्रक्चर इज इन अ प्लेस इट्स टाइम टू अप्लाई सम स्टनिंग सी एस एस स्टाइल्स टू मेक अवर लॉग इन फॉर्म विजुअली अपीलिंग एंड रिस्पॉन्सिव we will utilize css animation and transition to add a touch of interactivity and create a smooth user experience from subtle over effects to eye catching transition our login form will captivate your users from the moment they arrive so guys let's get started with our css code all right guys we have just completed our css let's just understand what we have written in our css file overall talking about this code is like to set the instruction that tells the computer how to create a web page that looks a certain way let's imagine we are building a web page for a login screen where people can enter their username and password to log into something 
so we have used poppins here to our font that is importing from the google and this is the asterisk symbol which this css is applying to every element on the web page next it says in our project the main part of the web page is going to be big box in the middle and we want to divide that box into two parts on the left side we will put a picture and on the right side we will put the login form when someone clicks on one of the typing places it will get a special color and underline to show that it is selected the label above it is it will also move up a little bit at the bottom of the form there will be a button that people can click on a button so these are these are the button the button will change color when someone over it like this so guys let's understand some useful new and important css property used in our code the first one is import the css add rule is used to import an external css file in this case it import the poppins font from the google font api another one is the font family this property sets the font of the selected element in this code it sets the font family of the body element and it descends to poppins and uses the fallback values of sans serif and this is the overflow the overflow property specifies how overflowing content should be handled in this code it is set to hidden for body element which means any content that exceed the dimension of the body will be clipped and not visible the another one is the position this property specifies the positioning method for element it is used with values like fix absolute to control the placement of element within the document flow the another important property is grid template column so this property defines the number and size of column in a grid container it is used in the container class to create a grid with two columns each taking up an equal amount of space that is 1 fr the another one is the display property this property specifies the display behavior of element it can be set to values like flex grid to create a flexible layouts in this code it is used to various classes like img login content etc to control the layout of element the another one is the transition so these are the transition property this property specifies the transition effect to be applied when a css property changes its value it is used with the class to create a smooth transition effect on the icon color when the input field is focus also before and after pseudo elements these are used to insert content before or after an element's content in this code they are used with the dot input div class to create horizontal lines that appear before and after the input fields also the main part of our css code is this media queries so these are used to apply different style based on the size of the viewport they allow for responsive design by targeting specific screen sizes in this code media queries are used to adjust the layout and sizing of element for different screen widths so here are the different screen width like 1000 px 900 px so these are all the css apply when the screen are max width is 900 px so these are just a few css property used in our code each property serves a specific purpose to achieve the desired visual 
styling and layout for login page so this is all about our css code let's dive into our javascript code okay guys our login form is looking great but it's not functional yet that's where javascript comes into play with the javascript we can validate user input display error messages even implement features like password strength meter we will make our logging from intelligent and user friendly so guys let's get started with our javascript code okay guys all right we have just completed our script file here let's get check on the browser our pro project is working or not so if we click on the username the web is working perfect if we click on the password click on the password so it is also working fine if we click on the login form then it will say please fill out the field this is our required attribute we have given to our html so guys let's get understand what we have written in our javascript file so this is the first line this selects all the elements with the class input and store them in a input variable so this is the input variable these are the function to add the focus class to parent element when the input field is focus so we have given the we have used this property here another one is to remove focus so this function to remove the focus from the parent element when an input field loses focus if the input field is empty so that is why we have given this function here and these two function are used in our for loop so this is our for each loop this is our input list of inputs and this is our event listener so this is the add event listener for focus event calling the add focus class function and this is a event listener for blur event calling the remove focus class function so this is what responsible for our script file and there you have it guys our responsive animated login form is completed it's not just a visually stunning form it's a form that works seamlessly and delights user Thank you for joining me on this coding adventure. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting projects like this one. Let's continue pushing the boundaries of web development together. If you are ready to level up your login form, this project is a perfect for you. Join the front end genius on this journey of creativity and innovation. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, keep coding and stay curious.